Welcome to Maths Companion. Let us recall what we have learned in the last video. The perpendicular bisector of any chord of a circle passes through its center. The perpendicular from the center of a circle to a chord bisects the chord. The line joining the center of a circle and the midpoint of a chord is perpendicular to the chord. There was a homework. It was a very easy one and I know you may have done it. Draw a circle and find out its center. You know how to find the center of a circle and I know you may have done it easily. Today we are going to learn how to draw a circle and an equilateral triangle inside it with all the vertices of the triangle on the circle. We have to draw a circle and an equilateral triangle like this. How can we draw it? The sides of the triangle are chords of the circle. So it is enough to draw three equal chords, each pair of which intersect on the circle. It is easy to draw two equal chords from a point on the circle, like this. But the chord joining the endpoints may not be of the same length. Then how can we draw it? Let us see what is special about a chord which is a side of an equilateral triangle. Let us join the vertices of this triangle to the center of the circle like this. Now look at these two triangles, triangle ACO and triangle ABO. These two sides are equal because they are sides of the equilateral triangle. The other two sides of this triangle are equal to the other two sides of this triangle because they are radii of this circle. That means the three sides of this triangle are equal to the three sides of this triangle. Therefore, the two triangles are equal. In the same way, you can see that the three sides of this triangle are equal to the three sides of the other two triangles. That means all these three triangles are equal. We know in equal triangles, the angles opposite to equal sides are equal. These three sides are equal. The angles opposite to them are these angles. Therefore, all these three angles are equal. But we know the sum of these three angles is 360 and they are equal. Therefore, each angle is 120 degree. Thus, if we draw three radii 120 degree apart, then the ends can be joined to form an equilateral triangle. Let us see how to do it. There is another way to draw an equilateral triangle with all its vertices on a circle. When we join the vertices of the equilateral triangle to the center, the angle between the radii is always 120 degree. That is this angle is 120 degree, this angle is 120 degree and this angle is also 120 degree. AO and BO are equal because they are radii of this circle. Therefore, Triangle AOB is an isosceles triangle. Let us draw a radius perpendicular to AB. O is the point of intersection of the equal sides and OD is the perpendicular from that point to the opposite side. The perpendicular drawn from the point of intersection of equal sides to the opposite side bisect the opposite side and angle at this vertex. Therefore, OD bisect this angle and OD bisects AB. Since this total angle is 120 degree, each of this angle is 60 degree. Now join AD. 
A O and D O are equal as they are radii of the circle. Therefore, the angles opposite to these sides are also equal. That is angle A and angle D are equal. We know sum of all the three angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Since this angle is 60 degree, sum of these two angles is 120 degree and they are equal. Therefore, each angle is 60 degree. That means triangle AOD is an equilateral triangle. OD is perpendicular to AB. Therefore, AB is perpendicular to OD. These two sides are equal and A is the point of intersection of the equal sides. And AB is the perpendicular drawn from A to the opposite side. Therefore, AB bisects this angle and AB bisects OD. So we have seen AB is perpendicular to OD and AB bisects OD. That means AB is the perpendicular bisector of OD. Using this idea, we can draw an equilateral triangle with all its vertices on a circle. Each side of the equilateral triangle is the perpendicular bisector of the radius. Therefore, to get one side of the equilateral triangle, it is enough to draw a radius and the perpendicular bisector of that radius. That is, first of all we can draw a circle, then we can draw any one radius, then draw the perpendicular bisector to this radius. If the perpendicular bisector obtained is smaller than the code, extend it to get the code. If it is longer than the code, mark the code. Now, CD is one side of the equilateral triangle. The third vertex is on the circle. Take the distance CD in the compass and draw an arc either from C or from D. The intersecting point of the arc and the circle is the third vertex. Join D to this point and C to this point. This is the equilateral triangle. Let us see how to draw it. Now let us do some problems on page 68. Prove that the line joining the centers of two intersecting circles is the perpendicular bisector of the line joining the points of intersection. These are the centers and this is the line joining the centers. These are the points of intersections of the circles and this is the line joining the points of intersection. We have to prove that this line is the perpendicular bisector of this line. Let us give a name for the centers. Let it be A and B. Let the intersecting points of the circles be P and Q. Let the two lines intersect at M. Now let us join these points like this. We have to prove that AB is the perpendicular bisector of PQ. Consider the triangles APB and AQB. AP and AQ are equal as they are radii of the circle with center A. Similarly, BP and BQ are also equal because they are radii of this circle. AB is common for both these triangles. That means the three sides of triangle APB are equal to the three sides of triangle AQB. Therefore, the triangles are equal. We know when two triangles are equal, their sides and angles are also equal. 
the angles opposite to equal sides are equal. Here these two sides are equal. The angles opposite to them are these two angles. Therefore they are also equal. That is angle PAB equal to angle QAB. Now look at the triangles triangle AMP and triangle AMQ. AM is common for both the triangles. AP and AQ are equal and these two angles are also equal that is angle PAB equal to angle QAB. That means these two sides and the angle between them are equal to these two sides and angle between them. That means these two triangles are equal that is triangle AMP and triangle AMQ are equal. So we have seen that these two triangles are equal. When two triangles are equal, their sides and angles are also equal. Therefore, MP and MQ are equal. When MP and MQ are equal, M is the midpoint. Therefore, we can say AB makes PQ into two equal parts or AB bisects PQ. Or we can say AB is the bisector of PQ. Now since these two triangles are equal, these two angles are equal. That is angle AMP and angle AMQ are equal. But we know some of these two angles is 180 degree. That is angle AMP plus angle AMQ equal to 180 degree. These two angles are equal and their sum is 180 degree. Therefore each angle should be 90 degree. When these two angles are 90 degree, we can say AB is perpendicular to PQ. AB is perpendicular to PQ and AB is bisector of PQ. Therefore, we can say AB is the perpendicular bisector of PQ. Next problem. The picture on the right shows two circles centered on the same point and a line intersecting them. Prove that the parts of the line between the circles on either side are equal. There are two circles centered at the same point and a line is drawn like this. We have to prove that the length of these two parts are equal. Let us take the figure. Let us give some names. Let the center be O. Let the chord of the small circle be AB and chord of the large circle be CD. Let me draw a perpendicular from center to the code. Let it meet the code at P. We have to prove that the parts of the line between the circles on either side are equal. That is we have to prove AC and BD are equal. We know the perpendicular from the center to a code bisects the code. Here OP is the perpendicular from center to the code AB. Therefore it bisects AB or it makes AB into two equal parts. Therefore, we can say PA and PB are equal. In the same way, CD is a chord of the large circle and OP is the perpendicular from center to that chord. Therefore, OP bisects CD or we can say PC and PD are equal. Now, we have to prove that AC and BD are equal. Let me start with AC. We can write AC as PC minus PA. That is AC equal to PC minus PA. But PC and PD are equal. So we can replace PC by PD. In the same way PA and PB are equal. So let us replace PA by PB. So replacing PC by PD and PA by PB we can write this as PD minus PB. Now look at the picture. What is PD minus PB? This is PD and this is PB. Therefore PD minus PB is BD. That means AC and BD are equal or the parts of the line between the circles on either side are equal. Today we have learned how to draw an equilateral triangle inside a circle with all its vertices on the circle. And we have done some problems on page 68. Now there is a homework. The figure shows two codes drawn on either sides of a diameter. What is the length of the other code? 
we will discuss the remaining problems in the next video till then bye